In the United States alone, 805,000 people suffer a serious heart attack. According to the CDC, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S., with around 700,000 people dying each year from the condition. Cancer is a close second, with 600,000 deaths per year. Needless to say, keeping our hearts healthy and vibrant should be a top priority. While many factors, such as stress and exercise, play a role, your heart can greatly benefit from making some simple changes to something we can all control, the foods we eat. In today's video, we'll go into detail on 8 foods that will give you serious heartache. Not the kind of heartache apparently suffered by Taylor Swift, but heartache that can land you in an early grave if you aren't careful. We'll delve into exactly what foods you need to avoid to keep your heart healthy and enable you to do all the things you love to do in life without worrying about a surprise heart attack. Before we get started, if you value your health, please consider subscribing to our channel. Our goal here is to spread knowledge of health and wellness, and hitting that like and subscribe button truly helps us out. We post twice a week to keep you up to date on the very latest tips, tricks, and nutrition you need to live a more youthful life, even in old age. The support you provide is free and greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, let's get to the video. This is Bob. Bob is 59 years old, and lucky for him, he just hit retirement last year, and he's finally a free man. Well, at least as free as his wife allows him to be. In retirement, Bob enjoys spending his time with his grandchildren, golfing, and watching his favorite sports teams. It's a good life, but as you know, life is fragile. You never know which day will be your last, so it's important to make the most of your time and make choices that enable you to live life to the fullest. Unfortunately for our friend Bob, his choices in his diet haven't been the best and he has been developing some worrisome health problems over the years. Unbeknownst to him, the valves in his heart have become severely clogged due to his choice of foods and he is at high risk for a heart attack. If Bob isn't careful, something as simple as screaming at the TV after his favorite sports team loses a big game can set off a deadly heart attack. So to save our friend Bob, and maybe even yourself, from this unfortunate possibility, we are going over 8 foods that need to be eliminated from your diet if heart disease is a concern. Don't be one of the 800,000 people who suffer a heart attack this year. Take notes and stay away from these foods that are mortal enemies to your heart. The first food on our list is white rice and white bread. White rice and white bread are detrimental to heart health, primarily due to their status as refined carbohydrates. In the refining process, the outer bran and germ layers, which contain fiber, vitamins, and minerals, are stripped away, leaving behind mostly starch. This refinement results in a high glycemic index, causing a rapid increase in blood sugar levels upon consumption. Elevated blood sugar levels can lead to insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes and obesity, both significant risk factors for heart disease. Moreover, diets rich in refined carbohydrates have been linked to inflammation, elevated triglyceride levels, and decreased levels of HDL cholesterol, all of which contribute to adverse heart health outcomes. If our friend Bob wants to get back to yelling at his TV without worrying about a heart attack, switching to whole grain carbohydrates would be a game changer. You would be wise to do the same if you value a healthy heart. Another food that is sure to give you a broken heart is microwave popcorn. Microwave popcorn can negatively impact heart health due to several factors, especially when it includes artificial butter flavoring. Firstly, many microwave popcorn brands contain high levels of unhealthy fats, such as trans fats and saturated fats, which can raise LDL cholesterol levels and contribute to the development of atherosclerosis. Additionally, this popular movie snack often contains significant amounts of sodium, which can elevate blood pressure and strain the heart. However, the artificial butter flavoring commonly used in microwave popcorn is of particular concern. This flavoring often contains diacetyl, a chemical linked to respiratory issues and potential cardiovascular harm. Research suggests that diacetyl exposure may impair arterial function and increase the risk of heart disease. Therefore, choosing popcorn varieties without artificial flavorings and with lower levels of unhealthy fats and sodium is advisable for maintaining heart health. If our friend Bob goes easy on the buttery syrup in his popcorn, it just might take enough pressure off his heart to keep him watching his favorite shows for years to come. Do yourself the same service and avoid popcorn with artificial butter. Speaking of butter, there's another food to avoid that can be very sinister for your heart. I can't believe it's not butter, but it's margarine. Margarine is often considered detrimental to heart health due to its high content of trans fats, which are formed during the process of hydrogenation. 
Trans fats have been extensively linked to an increased risk of heart disease by raising levels of LDL, or bad cholesterol, while simultaneously lowering levels of HDL, or good cholesterol. Consuming trans fats regularly can contribute to the development of arterial plaque and increase the likelihood of heart attacks and strokes. Similarly, other hydrogenated oils used in various food products contain trans fats and pose similar risks to heart health. Regular consumption of foods containing hydrogenated oils, including certain processed snacks, baked goods, and fried foods should be limited to promote optimal heart health. Choosing healthier alternatives rich in unsaturated fats, such as olive or avocado oil, is advisable for reducing the intake of harmful trans fats and supporting heart health. So if you want to avoid a heart attack, ack, 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 make sure you get rid of all the margarine and hydrogenated oils. You ought to know by now. On the subject of things you ought to know by now, the next food you need to avoid is one you really should already know is terrible for heart health, as well as pretty much every other area of health as well. Burgers from fast food restaurants For years, Bob would visit his favorite fast food restaurants for lunch every day and order some burgers. It is no shock that Bob has several plaque buildup in his arteries, which puts him at a very high risk for a heart attack before even turning 60. Burgers from fast food joints are awful for heart health, and eating too many of them can definitely lead to an early death. Burgers from fast food restaurants are notably unhealthy for heart health due to several factors. Firstly, these burgers often contain high levels of saturated fats, which can raise LDL cholesterol levels and contribute to arterial plaque buildup. Moreover, fast food burgers tend to be high in sodium, which can elevate blood pressure and strain the cardiovascular system. Beyond burgers, fast food in general is detrimental to heart health due to its emphasis on processed and fried foods, which are often laden with unhealthy fats, excessive sodium, and refined carbohydrates. Regular consumption of fast food is associated with an increased risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. Opting for homemade burgers with lean meats, whole grain buns, and plenty of vegetables, as well as reducing overall fast food intake, is essential for promoting heart health. If Bob makes these simple changes and resists the temptations of the fast food industry, he can improve his heart health and extend his life. Then, he can continue enjoying quality time with loved ones. If you have a bad habit of overindulging in fast food burgers, it's time to mend that broken heart and make a change. Another guilty pleasure of Bob's is his breakfast staple, bacon. Bob has eaten bacon with his breakfast every day for the past 30 years. While delicious and satisfying, it has also come with a heavy price tag for Bob's health, especially his heart. Having bacon every morning can have detrimental effects on heart health due to its high content of saturated fats and sodium. Saturated fats found in bacon can raise LDL cholesterol levels, leading to the accumulation of plaque in the arteries and increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. Additionally, bacon is often cured with salt, resulting in high sodium levels. Excessive sodium intake can elevate blood pressure, putting strain on the heart and increasing the risk of hypertension and cardiovascular problems over time. Consuming bacon regularly as part of a daily breakfast routine can contribute to an unhealthy diet pattern that promotes heart disease and other related conditions. To relieve some pressure on your heart, consider healthier alternatives like turkey bacon or any plant-based foods that aren't high in saturated fats and sodium. Another food high in sodium that Bob can't get enough of is instant noodles. It is good for a quick and inexpensive meal, but the burden you are shielding your wallet from is often passed on to your achy, breaky heart. Instant noodles are detrimental to heart health due to their high sodium content, which can elevate blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Additionally, they lack essential nutrients and may contain unhealthy additives, contributing to an imbalanced diet and poor cardiovascular health. Choosing whole, minimally processed foods over instant noodles is essential for maintaining heart health. Making a small change like this means more days of carefree golf for Bob. Golfing in the hot summer heat with narrow arteries from decades of poor diet is a disaster waiting to happen. For Bob's sake, let's hope he makes some changes fast so he can spend more time on the green and less time in a hospital. Another way Bob can maximize his carefree time on the green is by changing the beverages he chooses to consume. One particular drink that Bob and anyone else concerned about heart health should never consume again is soda. Soda and other sugar-filled beverages are harmful to heart health due to their high sugar content. They contribute to weight gain, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. 
Excessive sugar intake elevates triglyceride levels, promoting insulin resistance and induces inflammation, damaging blood vessels. These drinks provide empty calories and displace healthier beverage options. Limiting their consumption is crucial for maintaining heart health and reducing cardiovascular risk. Water or low sugar teas are great options if Bob wants to continue teaing off in his retirement. The last food we'd recommend cutting out of your diet for optimal heart health is energy drinks. They may give you a boost of energy to get through the day, but it comes at a great cost. Energy drinks are extremely detrimental for heart health due to their high caffeine and sugar content, along with other additives. Excessive caffeine can lead to rapid heart rate and hypertension, while sugar contributes to obesity and cardiovascular risk. These beverages may also disrupt heart rhythm, especially in those with existing heart conditions. Limiting energy drink intake is advisable to protect heart health, especially after age 50. After hitting retirement, let's hope our friend Bob loses the need for energy drinks and can ease into his golden years without the need for the instant caffeine rush provided by energy drinks. As we conclude our list, we'll also provide some closure for our friend Bob. Lucky for him, his wife stumbled upon our video and shared this pertinent information with her husband. If you found this video helpful like Bob's wife did, don't forget to like and subscribe to show your appreciation. Now, after a few hours of constant nagging from his wife, Bob finally agreed to make some changes and get rid of some of his favorite foods in favor of his heart health. Ultimately, spending more quality time with loved ones seemed more valuable than enjoying his favorite fast food burgers and morning bacon. It's a small price to pay to possibly extend your life by a few decades, not to mention the increase in energy that will result from making positive dietary changes. When it comes to lifestyle changes to improve your heart health, getting plenty of quality sleep, exercise, and mental rest are pivotal for keeping your heart pumping for as long as possible. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and put on notifications so you never miss a video. By viewing and subscribing, you are giving us immense support. It helps our mission to improve the health and wellness of as many people as possible, so thank you for that. See you in the next one, and remember to stay healthy and stay based.